All right, here's the scenario. You show up at a buddy's house, he's invited you over for a couple of beers, and somehow or another, his evil girlfriend has locked all the beer in the shed, and she's hidden the key. What do you do? Well, if you were stunningly lucky, like John Waxeron here, you will have one of these four-piece Peterson Dames bypass kits. But that's only one out of 1,870. John, PM your uh, address to me, and I will get this in the mail. But for the rest of us, we maybe aren't quite as lucky as John here. We need to have a plan, an emergency plan. And that's why you might consider something like this. This is a, an, it's called an access card. And they're sometimes called on Amazon uh, emergency lockpick kits or wallet lockpick kits. I've been playing with this one. Let me drop these pieces here so I don't stab myself. Show you what you get. Uh, this is actually one of the better ones. It's $25. It's by a company called Shomertech. Um, and I'll point out why. 15,000 stick is an important number. Most of the other kits you buy, and I have bought a couple in the past, they're made from aluminum, and we all know how durable aluminum is. Maybe not so much, but like I said, this is steel. Uh, you're going to get a deforest diamond, a ball pick, a diamond or half diamond pick. You're going to get a standard hook, and then you're going to get a tension wrench. And I've had those out. I've been playing with those for a while, and... Uh, I'm picking some locks, picking master locks, and some other things. But anyway, you might you could carry this in your wallet in this little protective card, and it would look maybe like a uh, like a bank card or perhaps a credit card, kind of unobtrusive, a little bit disguised there. Um, the picks are pretty handy. They do take a little bit of getting used to when you pick. Uh, you have to hold it with the fingertips and the tip of your finger. It's a little takes a little getting used to. It doesn't come up on the rest of your hand there. But like I said, it is possible that you get good feel. They are steel, not aluminum. So the feedback is actually pretty good. So if you're ready for an emergency, and let me, you know, like, you don't all get taken captive by, say, ISIL or criminals and, you know, locked in a room or anything. But if you are, uh, you're going to have this to help get you out. Something more realistic, though, is, and, and I'm sure this has happened to pretty much all of us, right? Uh, your buddy calls, you know, I need some help, come over to the house, he doesn't want to say anything on the phone. You show up and you find out that maybe his girlfriend's left him, you know, handcuffed up to the bed or something. Well, you know, if you've got a kit like this, and he's this poor guy's locked up, you got to cut him loose, right? Because without him, you can't get at the beer. Fifteen thousandths is an important number because fifteen thousandths allows you to attack a pair of handcuffs in a couple of ways. First of all, you can go through the keyway, and that's how easy it is to get in there. Another way you can use it, using the tension wrench, is you can also use it as a shim. We talked about shims on bypasses. Fifteen thousandths pretty flexible, pretty thin. It fits in a lot of places to include sliding it into handcuffs to shim your way out of them. Pretty cool stuff. So. If you're the kind of guy that likes to be ready for any emergency, I think you probably want to get yourself one of these. I'm, I am probably going to buy another one. This one's all messed up now that I've used it. I'm going to tape those pieces out, and if you will PM your address to me, or uh, I'm sorry, if you will send in a random comment, uh, I'll have the computer select you in 24 hours and uh, get this to you. Meanwhile, I'm going to buy another one. These are pretty cool. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay out of handcuffs.